Have you ever wondered how our solar system fits into the grand scheme of the universe? Welcome to the Cosmic Family album of the Milky Way. Here we find a dizzying array of stars, each with their own families of planets, moons, and other celestial bodies. These planetary systems, or galactic families, are as diverse and complex as our own. Some are small, with only a single planet orbiting a dim star, while others are sprawling, with dozens of planets and moons circling massive, bright stars. Scientists study these exoplanetary systems using a variety of methods. They observe the tiny dips in a star's light as a planet passes in front of it. They measure the gravitational wobble of a star caused by an orbiting planet. And they even use powerful telescopes to directly image these distant worlds. The more we learn, the more we realize that our solar system is just one of countless families in our galaxy. Our cosmic family, the solar system, is a dynamic and diverse entity. Nestled in a quiet corner of the Milky Way galaxy, it's a whirl of celestial activity, a cosmic dance choreographed by gravity. Each member of this family has a unique story to tell, stories of formation, evolution, and resilience. At the center of it all, we have the sun, our star. A blazing ball of hot plasma, the sun is the beating heart of our solar system, providing the warmth and light that make life on our home planet possible. Without the sun, Earth would be a frozen, lifeless rock adrift in the void of space. The planets in our solar system are like siblings, each distinct yet tied together by the gravitational bonds of our sun. The four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are rocky and terrestrial, while the four outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are gas giants, massive worlds enveloped by thick atmospheres of hydrogen and helium. Then there are the moons, an extended family of more than 170 known satellites orbiting around the planets. Each moon has its own unique characteristics, from the volcanic activity of Jupiter's moon Io, to the icy surface of Saturn's moon Enceladus, to our very own moon, the only celestial body beyond Earth where humans have set foot. And let's not forget the asteroids and comets, the oddballs of our cosmic family. These rocky and icy bodies inhabit the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and the distant Kuiper belt beyond Neptune, serving as cosmic time capsules that provide valuable clues about the early history of our solar system. Each celestial body within our solar system plays a crucial role in shaping the dynamic environment of our galactic neighborhood, contributing to the delicate balance that allows life to exist on Earth. Our solar system is a testament to the beauty and complexity of the universe, a cosmic family portrait that continues to captivate our curiosity and ignite our imagination. This cosmic family of ours, as familiar as it may seem, is but a tiny part of something much larger. Beyond our solar system, there lies a vast array of other cosmic families. Just as each family has its unique traits, so too do these exoplanetary systems. These systems are not just collections of planets orbiting a star, but intricate cosmic ballets, each with its own rhythm and style. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, we've discovered a dizzying diversity of exoplanets. From gas giants larger than Jupiter, known as hot Jupiters, to rocky super-Earths, these celestial bodies are as varied as they are fascinating. Some are cloaked in thick, poisonous atmospheres, while others are barren and rocky. Even more intriguing are the exoplanets that resemble our home, the Earth. Their orbits, too, are diverse. Some exoplanets follow eccentric paths, swinging close to their stars, and then far out into space. Others, like the planets in our solar system, travel in more circular orbits. The characteristics of these orbits can provide clues about how these planetary systems formed and evolved over billions of years. But the exploration of exoplanetary systems is not just about cataloging celestial bodies. It's also about the tantalizing possibility of discovering habitable worlds. The quest for other Earth-like planets is one of the most exciting frontiers in astronomy. Scientists use a variety of methods, including the transit method and radial velocity, to detect these planets and determine their potential for life. The discovery of an exoplanet in the habitable zone, where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist, could have profound implications. It could mean that somewhere out there, in the vast expanse of the cosmos, there could be a world like ours, a world where life as we know it could exist. The exploration of exoplanetary systems is a journey of discovery, 
a quest to understand our place in the cosmos. Each of these systems, like distant relatives, has its own unique story to tell. As we continue to explore, we add more pages to our cosmic family album, each one filled with the tales of our stellar siblings in the Milky Way. The planets in our solar system and beyond are as diverse as the members of any family, from the inner solar system, where rocky planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars reside, each with its unique topography and atmosphere, to the outer solar system, home to the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, each boasting a myriad of moons and distinct atmospheric conditions. Beyond our solar system, we've discovered exoplanets of varying sizes and compositions, including hot Jupiters, super-Earths, and even rogue planets wandering the galaxy without a star to call home. Some of these distant worlds have atmospheres thick with gases, while others may harbor vast oceans beneath icy surfaces. The potential for life, as we know it, or as we might yet discover, exists in the most unexpected corners of these diverse planetary landscapes. These diverse worlds remind us of the richness of our galactic family. The Asteroid Belt and Kuiper Belt are like the family photo albums of our solar system. These regions, rich with asteroids, comets, and other small bodies, are remnants from the early solar system. Just as a family photo album can tell us about our ancestors, these celestial bodies provide a window into our cosmic past. Asteroids, the rocky leftovers from the solar system's formation, are primarily found in the asteroid belt, located between Mars and Jupiter. Comets, on the other hand, are icy bodies that originate from the distant Kuiper belt, beyond the orbit of Neptune. These cosmic relics carry the secrets of the solar system's birth. By studying their composition, we can glean valuable insights into the ingredients that went into making our planets. Moreover, their impact craters and preserved geological features tell tales of a dynamic past marked by collisions and cosmic events. These icy remnants are like the footprints of our past, helping us trace our cosmic lineage. The formation of planets is a complex process that shapes the face of our cosmic families. It all starts with a cloud of gas and dust in a galaxy, collapsing under its own gravity. This is known as accretion, the first step in the birth of a planet. As these particles collide and stick together, they form larger and larger bodies, eventually creating planetesimals and protoplanets. Next comes differentiation, a process driven by heat from radioactive decay, impacts, and gravitational compression. This causes the heavier elements to sink towards the core, while lighter elements rise towards the surface, forming distinct layers. The last stage is migration. As a planet grows, its gravitational influence can cause it, and other bodies in the system, to move or migrate from their original locations. This can lead to dramatic changes in the architecture of a planetary system. Planetary formation is like the birth and growth of a family member, an ongoing process of change and evolution. The concept of habitable zones is like defining the perfect home in a cosmic neighborhood. Just as each of us needs certain conditions to thrive, so too does life as we know it. The habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, is the sweet spot around a star where a planet could have liquid water on its surface, neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. Planetary habitability is about more than just location, though. A planet needs the right ingredients, a rocky surface, an atmosphere, and a magnetic field to protect it from stellar radiation. And then, there's the star itself. Its size, brightness, and lifespan all play crucial roles in the potential for life. But what does this mean for the prevalence of life in the Milky Way? Well, with billions of stars, each potentially hosting a system of planets, the possibilities seem almost limitless. The search for habitable worlds is like the search for distant relatives whom we've never met but feel a deep connection to. Our journey through the cosmic family album of the Milky Way brings us back to our own solar system. As we've seen, our family of planets, moons, asteroids, and comets is just one among countless others, each with its own unique story to tell. From the rocky worlds of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, to the gas giants of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and on to the exoplanetary systems scattered across the galaxy, the diverse tapestry of our cosmic neighborhood is a testament to the beauty and complexity of the universe. The interconnectedness of these cosmic families 
bound together by the same fundamental laws of physics and shaped by the same processes of formation and evolution, underscores the unity of our galactic community. And yet, each planetary system possesses a uniqueness that adds a distinct hue to the vibrant palette of the Milky Way. As we gaze at the stars, we are reminded of our place in the vast family of the universe, a connection that binds us all.